In today's video, I'll show you how to display YouTube videos on your website using Feedsy. We'll start with the shortcode method. So we're going to create a new post and I'll call this YouTube channel ID. Now I'm going to add Feedsy's base shortcode, which you can find in the description. Now look where it says source underscore URL. We're going to replace this with our custom feed URL. We'll start by pasting what I'll refer to as a base URL. You can also find this in the description. We'll be displaying videos from a channel, so we need the channel ID, which we can find if we go to the channel and we right click, then click on view page source. Now on this page, we can hit command or control F, then search for a channel. And now we need to horizontally scroll all the way to the beginning. Now we can see channel highlighted in some places in this line. Uh, let's take a look at this one. On the left, we can see some characters after the slash. We just need to copy this since this is our YouTube channel ID. Now let's go back to the post and we'll paste it after the equals symbol. All right, so once we're done, we can go ahead and publish this. Now let's view the post. Okay, and here we have our YouTube videos from the channel. In this example, we can see the description for the videos as well, but this feature is only available with the premium version of Feedsy. If you have the free version, you'll only be able to see the thumbnails, title, and metadata. You also have the option to modify your shortcode. So as an example, I'll go ahead and add a max parameter. I'll also leave a link to a video about Feedsy shortcodes in the description. We're going to update this page and I'll click on view post once again, just to see what it's like now. And if we scroll down, we'll only see three posts. All right, now moving along, I'll show you how you can display playlists. Again, I'll go to the top and click on new. Let's call this one YouTube playlist ID. Now let's add Feedsy's base shortcode. All right, now once again, we have to replace source underscore URL with a custom URL, but this one is for a playlist ID and you can find it in the description. Now we need to find our playlist ID, so let's go back to YouTube. We can actually close this tab. Let's go to YouTube and let's find a playlist. Let's use this one. All right, now in the URL at the top, we just want to highlight everything after list equals, which is right here. Just want to drag and highlight this. And we'll copy it and I'll go back and let's paste it after the equal sign. That's fine. Let's publish. And let's go ahead and view the post. So here we have the videos from the playlist being displayed as posts on our website. Now for the final method, we are going to be using Feedsy's import feature. We'll go to Feedsy, then import posts. Now we'll click on new import. Here we need to name our import. I'll call this YouTube. And in the RSS feed sources field, let's paste the same playlist URL. And as we can see, this one already has the playlist ID. So I'm not going to configure everything for this import, but if you want to learn how to use Feedsy's import feature, you can find links to detailed tutorials in the description. So if you want to, you can configure filters, just expand this and configure your options. And again, in your case, you may also want to map your content. Now in general settings, I'm just going to go ahead and change the items count to three, and then we'll save and activate importing. Okay. Now let's click on run now. And this should only take a few seconds. And once it's done, we can move to the left hand side and click on posts. Now at the top here, we can see the three posts that were imported. Now let's go ahead and take a look at one of them. All right. So for the imported posts, we just have the YouTube video embedded on the page. So I hope you found this video helpful. Thanks for watching and see you next time.